Over the last two days on Tom, Jake, and Stacy, we've talked about three free agents. If you turn into Tuesday's podcast at 2 p.m., you can hear us talk about Luke Wilson and Jacob Hollister as we take a look at the tight ends for Seattle. On Wednesday, we talked about Michael Kendrick. So we're going to quickly preview all three players today, but if you want to see more in-depth coverage of them, be sure to check out 710sports.com. Let's take a look at Luke Wilson first. His 2019 ended up being a one-year, less than $1 million contract, very affordable veteran option. He ended up playing in eight games, had eight catches for 79 yards. Jake Heaps explains in our podcast why he's not entirely convinced that Luke Wilson will return in 2020, so be sure to listen to that. Jacob Hollister, however, seems like a more likely candidate to return. An important distinction here is that he's a restricted free agent. Let's go over his 2019. He had career highs in pretty much every category with 41 catches for 349 yards and three touchdowns, including a key touchdown in overtime so the Seahawks could beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Seahawks will have to choose whether or not they want to use a first round, second round, or original round tender. And each of those carries a salary ranging from two to four million. If the Seahawks do not choose to match an offer from another team, there could be compensation there. Uh, but if they do not tender Hollister, he'll become an unrestricted free agent in March. Last up is Michael Kendricks. So let's take a quick look at the linebacker situation. You've got KJ Wright. Bobby Wagner in the middle, and Michael Kendricks on the outside made up most of Pete Carroll's base defense, which he tended to stick to in 2019. Michael Kendricks appeared in 14 games, had 71 tackles and three sacks. So according to Jake Heaps, one of the big pros for keeping Kendricks is that he's still fast and physical, and he can let you stick to your base defense. I know that people are calling for Pete Carroll to go with a nickel defense more often, but he tends to really, really like his linebackers, and Michael Kendricks is a really athletic option there. He's coming off of an ACL injury, so that's something to watch for, but offers depth, and he would be far from your most expensive contract there. As part of our off-season project on Tom, Jake, and Stacy, we're going to be breaking down these free agent profiles. Tune in at 2 p.m. to listen to new ones every single weekday, and be sure to listen to Tom, Jake, and Stacy on 710 ESPN Seattle from noon to 3.